Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be replacing the engine oil on my Cadillac Escalade. This works from year 2015 to 2020. So what we're going to be needing is a jack, a basic toolbox, oil filter, various oil filter tools, a funnel, and oil. We're going to be needing the oil. This one takes 020. Dex OS GM approved. I used Royal Purple Premium Full Synthetic. This one is double the price than the regular Full Synthetic, but I just want a high performance engine oil in this engine. You can use Mobile One, you can use Pennzoil, you can use Castro Oil. But I like using Royal Purple. So, the first step what we're going to do is jack up the vehicle. Just to be safe, put dead jacks on each side. You can put bricks or wheel chokes. First thing we're gonna do is pop the hood. And the way to find out what oil your engine uses, it's usually written on your oil cap or in your owner manual. To jack up the vehicle. After lifting the jack, we're going to put our dead jacks. We put one on this side and one on the other side. We're going to lower the jack onto the dead jacks. That's it, and tighten the jack. I'm going to be using a 15 millimeter. We're gonna open it and drain it. So when you take this drain plug out, it has a rubber gasket, which I'll be showing you. I advise replacing it because it's just a rubber seal. It costs like five bucks from your closest auto parts store. And I already bought a new one and I'll show you the new one versus the old one. This is the drain plug. It has a rubber washer right here. As you can see right there, it's stuck on to use screwdriver, take it off. And I'm not gonna reuse this one. I just bought a new one. You could just get it for five bucks. It's best to replace it. And also with the factory one, it doesn't come with a magnet. The new part has a magnet on top. This is the new drain plug I got. It has a little magnet on top. So I'll list the part number and the description down below just in case you need one see it stopped draining now let's just open up the oil filter The best thing to do is just loosen it and let the oil drain out. So once it stops dripping oil, then we'll open it. Next step, we're gonna get our oil filter. We're gonna fill it up with oil. And before installing it, we're gonna wait for this oil to drip down and we're gonna just clean it up so it seals nicely and close the oil filter and after that we'll close the drain plug but first we'll remove this seal right here it's best to just replace it because it just gets messed up time to install our filter i got the mobile one extended performance this is the part number i'll list it in the description down below fill it up with oil. As you can see, roll purple. It's a purple colored oil. 
we're gonna put a little oil on the seal and now we're gonna go and install it and put the drain plug back in so before installing just clean down the surface so it gets a good seal just install it So we're just gonna hand tight it. Once it's fully tightened, we're gonna get a wrench and just give it a little bit of a turn and just wipe it down. So just get your wrench and give it a little bit of a turn. This is our new drain plug. It has a rubber O-ring. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of oil, seal it around, and now let's install it. See, you can see it has a magnet. Just, it'll collect a little bit of shavings, and now install it back. And we're gonna tighten this down to the specification, which is 18 pounds. Last step is just clean and wipe down everything. You can use brake cleaner, it'll clean up much better. But I'm just wiping down the excess oil and debris. We have our oil filter installed and our new drain plug. So let's go up, take off the jacks, and put the oil. We're gonna remove that dead jack and remove the oil. Now carefully lower the vehicle. So get your funnel. This engine takes 8.5 quarts. We're gonna put eight and measure it. And we're done with one, which is five quarts. So since we already put oil in the oil filter, we're gonna put three quarts and after that check the dipstick. All together we're gonna put eight and a half quarts. So as you can see right there at three quart is stopped. Now we're gonna measure the oil. We're gonna remove this. Now we're gonna check the oil level. Take out your dipstick. Insert it back in. As you can see, we're on the max line. It's perfect. So uh, once you're at this line, the max, that means you added eight and a half quarts. Now we're gonna close everything up. Last step is to wipe everything down. And close the engine cap. That's it. We're gonna give it a start and I'll show you how to reset the maintenance light. So we're gonna start the vehicle. And it says service engine oil soon. So what you're gonna do, it says service engine oil soon. You're gonna use this right select button, click select, turn to the right, it will highlight the left side. You're going to go to 
oil life and it says reset hold select so just push down the middle button and it reset and it went to 100 percent that's it that's how you reset the maintenance light so now we're gonna go take the car for a test drive and that's how easy it is to replace your engine oil on your Cadillac Escalade. And if the video helped you, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And for your engine oil, you can discard it at your nearby auto store. According to your city laws. That's it. Thank you. And after the test drive, we're going to wait 10 minutes to shut off the engine. And we're going to recheck the oil level. And that's it. Make sure there's no leak.